Good morning from Mountain Top Koi. Today is Friday, July 5th, 2013. And we finally have spawning going on from the Kin Kikukuryu. Uh, these guys are more than a month uh, behind most of the other fish. I've been waiting for the spawn. Um, I think it's going to be a really fun call. Um, not exactly positive what we'll be looking for in the culling, but um, I imagine metallic sheen is going to be the first thing. Uh, if the fish don't possess a metallic sheen, the fry, um, they're probably going to go. I will get rid of them, but uh, and these are definitely one of my favorite pairings. Uh, orange one, or more orange, copper color is the female. White one facing her is the male. Uh, there was a Kujaku male in here also. He was a really good father. Um, two other spawns. One was a Kujaku female, one was a Renji Hiroaki type female. And I got very good hatches on both of those spawns. Have some good potential in Kujaku fry. Uh -huh. So I threw him in here um, probably about two weeks ago thinking that he would possibly get things going. Uh, this male didn't seem to be real feisty. So I put the Kujaku male in there thinking that he would, you know, get get pushing the female around and stuff and get, get things going. And then what I would do is pull the Kujaku male uh, and let the Kinkika Korea female, or male, do most of the fertilization of the eggs. So I did pull the Kujaku uh, not very long ago. Um, I honestly haven't seen any spawning activity since I pulled the Kujaku. Uh, when I first came out, um, it's about 20 after 5 in the morning. Came about a, came out about 15 minutes ago, and the males were just, they had her literally standing on her head, um, running around in circles. Uh, she, you know, she, they, I think they definitely put a whooping on her last night. Not exactly sure how many eggs we have. Uh, it's still a little too dark to see, um, unless I get right up to it, and I don't really want to get too close and spook these guys. I'm hoping they're not quite done yet. I'd like to get some good passes from the female that are just fertilized by the Kin Kiko Korea. But we'll see. Uh, I don't think the Kujaku would be a bad father. Uh, that's why I I took the risk and threw them in. These guys are very similar, you know, uh, metallic white, kind of an orange copper color <coughs> with the Deutsche scales. Uh, they're almost the Deutsche Kujaku, but they do have black um, starting at the front of the fish all the way to the back, which from what I understand, uh, from what I've read and everything, makes them akin to Goryu versus a Goichi Kujaku. But I think by mixing in the Kujaku, I don't think we're going to really cause any problems. Uh, I think we'll still get a good, good solid clutch. So, um, about five days ago, four days ago, we 
we did get a swan in another pond. Uh, I didn't get up. Didn't really anticipate the spawn. It was kind of. I saw the males showing a little more activity than normal. Um, it was the Surrey males. The, that whole pond was a bunch of bums. <laughs> they come out, and 95% of the time, the, all the fish there was uh, originally uh, he at Surrey male, Kinki at Surrey female, and Kinki at Surrey male. All three of them would be just laying on the bottom of the pond, not swimming, not doing nothing. Um, for some reason, just really inactive. Uh, came out, I think it was Sunday night. And it might have been Saturday. I, one of those nights. Uh, came out uh, before dark, checked on everybody, and everybody was up swimming around. Um, I did add another female. Uh, we were messing around with the Goromos, the Igoromo. Um, I was checking on them. That female does seem to be egged up better than she was. Male is producing sperm. Um, I stripped him um, and did get some sperm out of him, so there is still potential for a spawn in that pond. And there was a... It's kind of a... Uh, not positive what kind of fish it is. Uh, it is a German or dragon scale. Um, it's got the really big mirror scale type uh, scales on it. It's almost a uh, Akamatsuba. Uh, what I would imagine Akamatsuba would look like in the dragon scale. Um, the dorsal, really bright orange. The head's pretty orange pretty clear. Uh, it does have a little bit of uh, blackish, muddy looking to it, but um, top half of the fish is pretty dark. Bottom half of the fish is much lighter, uh, more of an orangish red. It's a pretty fish. It's a cool looking fish. Just, uh, you know, with it being a, a dragon or mirror scale whatever they want to, you know, label. I've seen a bunch of different labels for them. Um, it's hard to really put my finger on without knowing the lineage, and it is a domestic fish. Um, but I threw that in there um, a couple nights prior. <laughs> and excuse me, and uh, lo and behold, I come out uh, that morning and see a pretty large amount of foam and fuzz on the pond like this one and check out the spawning brushes and sure enough uh, pretty covered with eggs I netted the fish out uh, the Kinki at Surrey female didn't look really any different um, she didn't look like she had spawned uh, she may have I'm not positive um, it may be there may be two different pairings in there uh, two different females may have spawned at the same time because the uh, Kinki at Surrey and the Dragon Scale type female were both in the pond. But there was definitely a spawn. Um, but it was done before I woke up. Uh, I came down and they were all just kind of hanging out. Um, I noticed the foam on the pond, checked the brushes, and there was a reasonable number of eggs. Not a large number. Neither one of the females. Um, if one or both, whichever, uh, spawned out. Neither one of them had a very large quantity of eggs um, in them. They didn't, weren't all bulked up. Um, this female, I don't know if I got any good video of her at an earlier date, but this girl, uh, she's not real big. I'm saying she's probably 16 inches, 15, 16 inches. Um, but man, she looked like a football. She just, she was full. Um, she's still pretty chubby now. Um, I'm wondering if they're done or not. But, uh, so we should have a really good spawn here. Really interesting spawn to follow. Um, we did do a second calling on the Taiso Sanki from Dainichi um, two days ago. I did try to shoot video of it for you guys, um, but my camera wasn't working. 
I'm not sure exactly what was wrong with it. Uh, wasn't working later that day. Um, my wife came home and wanted some pictures of something, and it started working, of course. But, uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, it was a more pattern type calling. Uh, we did, we did look for pattern and, and that type of thing, and I'm sorry you missed it. Uh, but it, it went well. Uh, found some potentially phenomenal fish. Uh, just <laughs> mind blowing. Uh, you know, really, really, really good fish. Uh, so, um, you know, we look forward to the next calling, which will be right around the 1st of August, 60 days, uh, they're 35 days now, uh, they have a free swim in the 1st of June, so, um, you know, about another, about another four weeks, three and a half, four weeks, we'll be doing another calling on them, um, for pattern and stuff, so, um, stay tuned, uh, we'll do our best to get you to, uh, more videos, especially on the calling. I see my most recent calling videos got quite a few views, uh, compared to the other stuff. So, I'll do my best, uh, to get you the calling videos and, and try to help you understand, um, where we're going with the calling. Uh, like I said in previous ones, we're no experts. Uh, we've watched a lot of calling videos, um, did a lot of reading stuff like that um, so hopefully uh, we'll have a reasonably good idea of what we're doing uh, and you know end up with some good fish I, I think the sankey went really well um, by the looks of some of the fry that we saved we should have some really good quality um, really high quality stuff uh, at, at uh, the biggest fish in there was probably, um, I'm going to say an inch and three quarters. Average was roughly an inch um, at 30 days, so growing really well. But uh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned, and uh, we'll be back with more. All right, have a good day.